Hey, hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. All right. You know what, YouTube? I want you to jump right in here. Jump mm -hmm. right in here with Sunshine and E. All right. With the E shine. Okay, okay. okay. We are doing something today. Yeah. That is ultimately one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm glad we do this because a lot of times, if you're anybody familiar with our channel, there's a lot of times that I went back and said, what are my favorite country songs? What, what did, you know, I got different things that I do. So this one is more geared towards her. And so that, which is good. I don't want to always be the one to say, hey, my, you know, because this is our channel. So, but what I'm, with this title it says, I Love Lucy. And, you know, maybe later on you can tell us the difference between I Love Lucy and The Lucy Show, because I'm sure there's a difference, and you can probably tell me what it is. I think I know what it is, but for those other people, that's another fact that they can probably guess at. But there's 20, uh, 20 of these controversial facts, and what I want to know at the end is how many of those 20 that you knew, since this is like your show. You know, so let's get started. And, uh, you know, no further, let's just get right into it. But before we do, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, also share and comment below. Let's get started with these 20. When I Love Lucy premiered on October 15th, 1951, nobody expected it would be one of TV's most popular and enduring programs of all time. There are a few reasons that the show was such a huge success. The show used innovative filming techniques, Lucille Ball was a professional, the writing was excellent, and so was the production staff. Also, Desi Arnaz was very savvy in business. All of these factors combined are the reason why I Love Lucy topped the Nielsen ratings for four of the six seasons. If you're a fan of the show, there are still things you probably don't know. Here are 20 things you might not have known about I Love Lucy. Facts First presents I Love Lucy, 20 Controversial Facts. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. CBS didn't think Americans would accept the fact that Lucy would marry a foreign man. I Love Lucy started out as a radio show called My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball. Lucille said yes as long as her real-life husband, Desi Arnaz, would be cast as her husband. On the radio show, Richard Denning played Lucy's husband. The network didn't like the idea. Liz Cooper was Lucy's name on the radio show, and they didn't think Americans would believe that Liz would be married to a foreign man with a very noticeable accent. Even though Lucy and Desi were married in real life, the network didn't go for it at first. Finally, to have Lucy on TV, CBS gave in. But it wasn't easy to convince them. It's a good thing they did because Desi helped make the show what it was. To convince the network, Lucy and Desi took their show on the road. Desi had a successful career touring the country with his Roomba band. To keep him home with her, Lucy wanted the network to cast Desi as her husband. The couple wanted to prove to the network that they were a great comedy team, so they created a vaudevillian skit that was inserted in the middle of performances by the Desi Arnaz Orchestra. Mm. They toured during the summer of 1950, and people loved watching Lucille's antics. They also loved her interaction with Desi. They had a skit called The Professor, and it convinced the network to cast Desi. The writers loved the skit so much, it was incorporated into season one, episode six of the show. Lucy and Desi refused to move to New York. Lucy and Desi wanted to work in Los Angeles so they could be at home near their baby daughter, Lucy. In 1951, most TV shows were broadcast from New York because it's where the sponsor, Philip Morris, wanted the show to originate. Back then, the United States wasn't wired for TV from coast to coast. The show would broadcast live and could only be transmitted so far. The show would be preserved on a camera aimed at a TV monitor and was shipped to distant stations. Wow. Philip Morris didn't want to do this because their biggest cigarette market was up and down the East Coast. They wanted the picture quality to be best in this area, so filming in Los Angeles wouldn't work. Desi suggested that the show be filmed with three cameras like a stage play. This would provide the same picture quality in all markets. At this point, multi-cameras hadn't been used on sitcoms. Desi hired legendary cinematographer Carl Freund to solve the problem. They built the right set to film this way, but CBS said it cost too much money. Lucy and Desi agreed to take a cut in their salary, and their production company, Desi Lee Productions, would retain ownership of the films. The 35mm film was part of the reason for the show's success. Since Lucy and Desi owned the series, they were the first millionaire TV stars. Wow. Me a good night story. Only Lucy could make fun of Desi's broken English. After the first few episodes, there was an unwritten rule that only Lucy could make fun of Desi's broken English. 
The writers allowed other characters to make remarks, but each time the studio audience sat in silence. The audience thought it was cruel for anyone to make fun of Desi's accent other than Lucy. Smoking was required on camera. I Love Lucy almost didn't make it on TV because CBS had a hard time finding a sponsor for the show. When the tobacco giant Philip Morris signed on at the last minute, the show was allowed to go on. Philip Morris had one condition. The characters had to smoke a lot, and the name Philip Morris had to be worked into the dialogue as much as possible. The only problem with this was that Lucy smoked Chesterfield cigarettes. To get around it, Lucy had stagehands stuff the Philip Morris cigarette packs with her brand. William Frawley wasn't the first choice to play Fred Mertz. Lucille Ball wanted Gail Gordon, the man who played Fred on her radio show, to play him on the show. At the Mr. time, Gail had a role in the Our Miss Brooks radio show. He wanted more money than Desilu had to offer, so they had to find someone else. William Frawley knew Lucy in passing, and he asked to read for the part. Because William had a reputation of being a heavy drinker, CBS and Philip Morris weren't sure about casting him. Mm. Desi, who was also a drinker, was sure that William was cranky enough to bring Fred to life. He was offered the role on the condition that if he missed work for any reason other than a legitimate illness, he would be written out of the show. William never missed a day of filming. Wow. Okay. But they trail it, Bob Hope. Several actresses mm. were considered to play Ethel. Lucille had worked with B. Benadure on the radio and wanted her to play Ethel. Unfortunately, B. had just signed on to another project, so she wasn't available. Mm. Lucy had worked with Barbara Pepper in the past, and they were friends, so she was considered for the role. The network shot this down because she was a heavy drinker. They thought having two wow. heavy drinkers on the show was too <laughs> risky. Barbara played background characters on several episodes of the show and went on to star on Green Acres. The director, Mark Daniels, saw Vivian Vance at the La Jolla Playhouse, and he recommended her to Desi. Desi liked her, and she was cast as Ethel. Mm -hmm. The Mertzes hated each other off camera. Vivian Vance was 22 years younger than her TV husband. She resented having an old poop play her husband. William reacted by calling Vivian a sack of doorknobs and a bitch. The <laughs> hatred they felt for one another was only known to the directors and writers, and it never showed on screen. The two didn't want to jeopardize their roles on the show, so they didn't show their hostility toward one another. Some of the actors didn't even know they hated each other. Desi Arnaz had lifts in his shoes and his love seat. Desi claimed to be 5 feet 11 inches tall, but he was really 5 feet 9 inches. Lucille Ball was 5 feet 7 inches tall barefoot, so she towered over her husband when she wore heels. Desi was a prideful man and didn't want his wife to be taller than him. On the love seat, production added an extra pillow that couldn't be seen by the audience. This made him look taller than Lucille when they sat together. He also put lifts in his shoes for scenes when the couple stood together. Desi rejected a scene that involved Ricky cheating on his taxes. Desi believed in the American dream, and he was very patriotic. When he was just 17 years old, Fulgencio Batista overthrew the Cuban government, and the Arnez family fled to Miami with nothing but the clothes on their backs. They lived in a warehouse with other refugees, and Desi got a job cleaning bird cages. When a scene on the show called for Ricky to change numbers on his tax return, Desi had the writers remove it. He didn't want the audience to think that Ricky would cheat the U.S. government. The Candy Lady was a big dipper in real life. Job Switching, a.k.a. the Candy Factory episode, is one of the best episodes of all time. In the episode, Lucy and Ethel stuff their faces with chocolates while trying to keep up with the conveyor belt. Before this scene, Lucy dips the chocolates. The woman in the scene was a real-life dipper who worked at C's Candies on Santa Monica Boulevard named Amanda Milligan. Amanda had never seen the show, but she was hired anyway. Amanda didn't want to slap Lucy as the scene called for, and the directors were worried. When it came time to shoot the scene, Amanda slapped Lucy so hard it caused her ears to ring. When the show wrapped, Lucy asked Amanda how she liked show business. Amanda said she'd never been so bored in her life. She preferred making candy. Lucille Ball was too stressed to appreciate the humor in one of the best episodes. One of the best episodes in the show's history was Lucy Does a TV Commercial. During filming, Lucy was too worried about messing up her lines to appreciate the humor in the show. She was worried that she couldn't say, Vita Mita Vegemite. To make things easier, she had Maury Thompson, the script supervisor, stand off camera with cue cards that had her lines. It made things less stressful for Lucy, but she still couldn't enjoy herself. They didn't like to yell cut and reshoot scenes. Because the show was filmed in front of a studio audience, the occasional blooper was ignored. An example of this took place in redecorating the Mertz's apartment. In the scene, Lucy was talking about how the Mertz's needed help fixing their marriage and their apartment. Desi says, paint the furniture and reupholster the old furniture, which wasn't right. The show didn't stop, and the blooper was left in the show. Lucille's pregnancy created panic behind the scenes. During season two, Lucille found out she was pregnant. 
Lucy had suffered three miscarriages before this, and the couple was thrilled to find out they were expecting. The producers and the couple were concerned about the fate of the show. Other than the 40s sitcom Mary and Johnny, which also starred a real-life married couple, a woman had never been visibly pregnant in a TV series. Because Lucy got so big while pregnant, they couldn't hide it. The network eventually agreed to add the pregnancy into the storyline. While filming, the network had a Catholic priest and a rabbi on set to make sure they didn't do anything questionable. CBS believed that the word pregnant is too vulgar for TV, so they replaced it with expecting. Little Ricky and Desi Arnaz Jr. were born on the same day. Lucy and Desi knew that Lucy would have a C-section. Lucy's doctor scheduled all C-sections on Mondays, which was the same night of the pregnancy episodes. When Lucy went to the hospital, Lucy Ricardo did too. Mm. Lucille suffered during the grape stomping episode. (laughs) The woman Lucy was supposed to fight with in the grape vat barely spoke English. She didn't understand what the producers wanted, and she held Lucy's head under the liquid in the vat, and Lucy almost drowned. Lucille drove guest star Harpo Marx crazy. Lucille was a fan of Harpo Marx, and she wasn't prepared for his style of acting. Lucy insisted on a lot of rehearsals, and Harpo didn't work that way. He said he had been in show business for 35 years, so he didn't have to rehearse. Mm. There were a few times where scenes had to be reshot after the audience left and then pieced together by the editor. Mm. The Longest Laugh During the episode where Lucy (laughs) hid a dozen eggs in her pocket and danced the tango with Ricky, the eggs broke. The audience laughed for 65 seconds straight. Wow, that's a long time. Desi Arnaz wanted realism. There were many times when Desi insisted on realism. For example, in the episode Pioneer Woman, they needed an eight-foot loaf of bread to pop out of the oven. Desi wanted real bread, so they hired a New York baker who could make it. The fish that they used in deep-sea fishing was a real fish. The uh uh-oh lady heard in the studio audience was Lucille's mom. In many shows, you can hear a woman in the audience say, "Uh uh-oh. The woman saying it was Lucille Ball's real-life mother. Which of these facts did you find most surprising? Let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to Facts First for more great videos. So most of those you, you were familiar with, those those facts or no? I mean, some of no. Some, yeah, some of them I was, and some of them I wasn't. Yeah, some of them you really had to probably be there to really know that that was the issue. Now, if you ask me about a scene, I mm-hmm. can tell you what it was about. Oh, okay. I've seen them all. Now, I enjoy stuff like that because I'm, I'm really, because especially with entertainment, you, you find out certain people really didn't like each other and you couldn't tell on screen and some people were having problems mm-hmm. with, <clears throat> drugs and alcohol and you didn't tell on screen so these people really were real professionals i think in the heat of the night that was the same situation with one of the guys on that show he had <clears throat> had a drug problem or whatever but <clears throat> nobody really seen on uh did a drug or drink one or two and so i enjoy this um things like that getting that back back uh some of the background information on <clears throat> you know whether it's a celebrity in music or entertainment, as far as movies or in this this situation, sitcoms, but I was definitely I'm still to this day a Lucy. I love Lucy fan. Oh, the difference you, between okay, there you go. I was wondering the um, Lucy show and I love Lucy, um, Ricky um, wasn't on the Lucy show. Now he did do an appearance on okay. there once. But it was about her and her children, and they lived in the countryside, and that's when Mr. Mooney came, the okay. one who she wanted to play, uh, where William Frawley played um, okay. uh, Fred. Mm-hmm. So um, that was a takeoff. She had actually, she attempted, there was a Lucy show, and here's Lucy. Okay. And then there was another one where she tried later, later in the years, and it just didn't, I don't think it made it past a couple of episodes. So now, the, in the Lucy, and the I Love Lucy, Lucy show and I Love Lucy, was she simply two different characters? It wasn't like a spinoff where she was the same? Because wasn't she working in the office or something? On In the Lucy show. Right, but she wasn't supposed to be the same person as she was in the I Love Lucy. It was kind of controversial. I mean, it was a little bit okay. different because in sometimes... In, in a couple of episodes, they did reference, you know, New York, and not necessarily New York, but the husband, right, right. you know, but um, it was never really blossom, and they didn't just really just never include it 
bringing them in oh, okay. to um, the show actually oh, at all. Okay. It was just her and Vivian now. And it's funny because Vivian kept the name. Lucy kept the name right, in right, the right. Lucy show. Okay, so right, right. she was still Vivian. Right. She was Vivian Vance rather than Vivian Mertz. Oh, okay. So, um, well, wait a minute. Is that her name? Oh, her real name, Vivian Vance. I don't know. Um, but uh, she wasn't Mertz. I know she wasn't Mertz okay. on, on oh, the Lucy okay. show. Yeah, I was, I was, was wondering that because I was wondering if they were two different, you know, maybe if she had named it something differently, then then maybe you would say, okay, it was different. Because I always thought maybe it was different. If it wasn't, does it... Does it, it does is the the Lucy show after Ricky or before Ricky is supposed to be you know so I didn't, it was you know, after definitely after I mean the actual film but I mean her if it if they were supposed to be the same Lucy connection show well a lot of people don't know that when they started the I Love Lucy show hmm. her and Desi weren't even married anymore they had already divorced oh, I okay. think to my okay. understanding that when the show started airing. They were already divorced. Um, I don't know how that is. I ain't going to say how it is because right, <laughs> she right. had two children and she's her the first season or right, right. she yeah, was right, pregnant. Right. Okay. So, I mean, that still can happen. But um, they, <laughs> you know, actually remain good, good, good friends oh, okay. till the, his death. Okay. You know, so yeah, we gotta do some more stuff on Lucy because this yes, because um there's a lot of stuff that um things when it comes to Lucy kinda outside of just the Lucy show, like there was a big thing where the and we won't get big time into it with the Phyllis Diller and Lucy thing, you know, and of them claiming to look alike or whatever mm -hmm. to have that I issue. don't think they looked alike. I mean that you know, they had that out. So I'm just saying maybe we'll get into that that a little bit more, but I remember seeing Phyllis Diller and some of the. Um, Not that I don't like. I like Phyllis Diller, uh -huh. but Lucy. Yeah, because I mean, she's she just a had a glamour. Man. Yeah, yeah, you know, true. That's true. she was just very elegant and you know, uh, classy to me. Okay. Now, I heard stories that she, you know, people had a hard time working around her. She was very hard to work with. No, you had you're to work on eggshells, Lucy. Lucy, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of those people that do well are real perfectionists, so they expect people to get the same level. So I mm -hmm. think it's more or less a hey, y'all got to get up to that, and that, that's usually the case of that. Uh, but well, you would have thought I knew the woman because I mean I literally right. literally cried when she when she passed away. Mm -hmm. My mom, I called all the way to where she was living, and first words out of her mouth are, "Are you okay?" And I'm yeah. like, no. Right, right. Yeah. I still want to go to Jamestown, where she was born, where she was raised. Jamestown, New York. Maybe we'll, we'll check that no, out. I'm Jersey. Um, that I want to... Um, New York. Mm -hmm. New York, I don't know. But it's Jamestown. Um, I want to go, um, actually, to the museum. I hear they have oh, do they? a museum oh, okay. now. Okay, we'll go check that you know, out. Put that one of our stops on our road trip. <laughs> you know, that's it. Yeah, but... Yeah. But let's get out of it because we could probably go on and on. But do us a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share and comment below. And I do believe that's it. That is it. Thanks for following. To Sunshine, Sunshine and E. e.